Jesus in the Book of Matthew, The Narrow Gate Matthew chapter 7 verse 14 says, For the gate is narrow and the way is hard that leads to life, and those who find it are few. Jesus gives a parable about life and death, and he urges his disciples to seek life by entering through the narrow gate. Jesus says that small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. What exactly is meant by this? First, we need to understand that Jesus is the door through which all must enter eternal life. There is no other way because He alone is the way, the truth, and the life. The way to eternal life is restricted to just one avenue, and that is our Lord Jesus Christ. In this sense, the way is narrow because it is the only way, and relatively, few people will go through the narrow gate. Secondly, many people will attempt to find alternative route to God. They will try to get there through man-made rules and regulations by doing good works. Many believe that religion can save them, and many believe that through their self-effort, they can enter the kingdom of God. But that is not the case. Jesus was teaching the people that it is not what you do that you will get into God's kingdom, but what you believe. It is not what you do that earns you salvation, but in whom you believe. Salvation can only be received as free gift from God. Salvation is conditional on faith in Christ and not one's personal merit or good works. As is stated in Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 and 9, For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works so that no one can boast. Christ's sermon was designed to show that the entrance into his kingdom did not only depend on good works, but a pure heart and godly motives. The only way to enter the kingdom of heaven is to be saved by grace through faith in Christ Jesus, and this is non-negotiable. So let us enter the narrow gate through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.